All right, tonight's shave, the B5 knot I'm trying to work and get to open up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in some water now and have it soak. You don't have to soak your brushes in a cup, but I like to. The soap we're gonna to use today, I was talking to someone online about Dr. John's shaving company or shaving soap company, whatever his official name is. I, I like his uh, base a lot. I like several of his scents, you know, and they uh, they take a lot of water if you want. They're uh, very flexible. The uh, Several of the scents to me uh, are just really well designed. And uh, so today I always wondered about Savannah Sunrise. Now the little words around the outside of the label here are jasmine, gardenia, peach, orange blossom, and honeysuckle. That's a whole lot of florals. I like the peach. I hope that's a dominant thing once the lather gets wet. From the puck, you can smell all those florals. You can smell a strong floral. Now, I can still smell the peach, but I'm hoping that those florals come out. So I'm going to hook a little bit of this out into my lather bowl since obviously I can't brush lather with such a tiny tub. The razor today is on a Weber handle, Bulldog. It is the 68, the Timeless 68. And you can see that it is the scalloped base plate and the solid uh, smooth top cap. Timeless is another one that gives you a very good alignment on your blade. The one I'm using is my Gillette Silver Blue that I'm just going to marathon and see how long he'll go. He's at about 14 uses now. And we'll take him out. At some point, he's going to start not liking the mild razors. I don't think he's at that point yet. All right. And so with the timeless top cap, you can see how the rails there come in that groove. And that's one of the things that keeps the alignment so nice. Um, here's how the top cap, uh, the base plate looks there. Plenty of grooves for the waist hair and suds to go in. Flat bottom. It's got some heft to it. Now it's a thick head. Um, and that could scare some people away. But here's the thing. The actual, most of the thickness is under the edge of the blade. Like here we are, here's the edge of the blade. And if you just look at from the edge to the top, it's actually not all that thick. It just looks more bulky. So I think some of the people out there uh, may choose not to uh, engage with this razor because of that. Another thing I like about um, this is see how closely it comes to the edge with a nice clamp down mechanism right there. Some razors will, they won't have this extra lip right there. It'll be cut off right here. So you'll have the top cap coming over, but then the bottom of the blades, the support will stop earlier. But here, look, they've drawn it down further and that gives you uh, a feel that I personally like, less, less vocal usually, less noise as you're shaving, less of a scraping sound, um, but uh, it gives you a very firm, consistent uh, razor edge that doesn't chatter as much. So I think it leaves the skin uh, better off because it's not vibrating across the skin, it's just moving across the skin. All right. Bulldog handle provides plenty of grip. Let's get my face wet. 24 hour shave, uh, 24 hour beard growth is what we're dealing with. I have hard water. Let me find my little scooping spoon. Now I think Dr. John's does not require the full quarter teaspoon here. And so I won't, yeah, I won't give the whole quarter teaspoon. See if it's all floral. Alright, I'm going to 
press it into the bottom of my lather bowl. I'll pause you while I do that. I don't believe he gives out these uh, samples on his website. And when I say gives out, meaning you know, two or three dollars a piece. Uh, these I got through Maggard Razors, and so a lot of his main normal line of products. I think I looked on there today, and it was about eight or nine of his scents. Um, they're on Maggards as samples, so that's a great way to test them out. Uh, propaganda, um, uh, the classic. I, I like Black Black Label. And uh, what was the, what was that other one? Um, there was another one that I particularly enjoyed. Can't remember what it is right now. Um, 13 is a seasonal release back in Valentine's Day. Really nice one, I like that. If you like a spicy, uh, uh, not sweet Bay Rum, then his Anne Bonnie might be a good option. Um, I think his Defiance has a little bit of a, uh, black pepper and something, uh, maybe allspice, and it has sandalwood and mandarin, I believe, were some of the other two notes. And that black pepper and allspice is what uh, what I didn't agree, uh, what didn't really you know agree with me. Um, but if you like that, then that that'll be a good one for you to try as well. All right, so we can go ahead and start lathering this up. I am going to, Dr. John's is a pretty thirsty soap, but I'm gonna start out by shaking out the brush pretty well. It still has a little bit of water in there, as you can see, because it bubbled up there. It's really cold out, so the water coming from the tap is cold. By the time I'm done making the lather, the temperature will change, and so it won't be a really cold lather, it'll just be a room temperature lather. But my rinses will be cold unless I decide to bring in some heat. And so I've just uh, kept turning and mixing through that soft, bubbly, airy, watery phase, and you see I've been rewarded with something that is starting to resemble a very nice lather. Ah, the florals aren't too bad. There's a little bit of sweetness in there. I definitely still get the peaches, so that's nice. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of this scent, I believe. This lather's actually looking pretty good. It's possible that the water that I left in the brush is a lot. Um, and I may not need much more. Okay, I did some dabbing in there. You can kind of see the texture a little bit. It looks terrific visually. Let's hoke out a little bit because we don't want to overwater it. Yeah, that's pretty nice actually. Let's uh, just kind of mix, mix that up to make sure it's consistent. Oh, that's so slick. Takes a second to rinse it off my fingers. I like that. And let's just make sure this is consistent and then we may even be able to shave with this. If you stick with a certain base, one of the great advantages is you could learn shortcut techniques like how much water to leave in your brush. Uh, maybe you'll measure by how many shakes you do, that kind of thing. Um, and then it's so much easier to dial in your lather. You can get it going a lot quicker because you don't have to experiment and slowly put it together and then test it to see if it needs more water. There are definitely florals coming up to me, but when I put my nose in this soap, 
the florals are working in conjunction with the peach instead of trying they're not overpowering it when my nose is in the lather really interested to see how this pans out I, I really like his base I mean all his stuff is vegan I think and I'm not a vegan by any means I just like good soap and his good soap happens to be vegan because hey if you're a vegan if everybody was a vegan then we'd all be eating the food that the animals eat right we're taking their food away from them it's a good feeling lather I do feel the ridges in my fingerprints I'm glad I only put the amount I did in the scoop because it looks like I'll have uh, enough lather glad I didn't go the whole quarter teaspoon all right so I am going to splash my face just a little bit one more time soften up those hairs a little bit all right uh, so this was a b5 declaration knot and this is my rubber set 400 handle it's uh, vintage and it's been restored by the guy I bought it from and I've got big hands and I really like the way I hold the, the, I like the ergonomics of this handle it's not all that thick but it seems to kind of have stuff in the right places I can just get this knot to splay out now Take a look at what's happening. Number one, we've got a lot of thinness over here on this side. You know, I started over here, and so that's where a lot of the lather is. But notice how it's kind of kind of thin, and it's almost getting kind of pasty looking right there. I kind of feel it being a little pasty. Then by the time I drag my brush over here, it's still thin, and it has that kind of pasty nature to it. Uh, it's not as much of a lather at this point. So what that probably means is it needs a little bit more water. Uh, so, I have, uh, as you recall, I did not add any water past what was already in the brush. So I'm going to fill up my syringe with two teaspoons. And let's just start adding water. And maybe next time I'll have a better idea about how much water it needs. And I won't have to do this. Should have glanced, stomach, glanced at some of my notes for Dr. John's and that would have told me how much water I used last time. Now, as I'm water, as I'm adding water, I'll look at my lather. Is it becoming more creamy? Is it getting a little thicker as it develops more into a lather? Or is it thinning out? If it's getting more creamy, then I'm doing the right thing. And I have enough soap in my brush and I just really needed to add more water to my bowl and I just missed out. See, look, yeah, the volume is increasing, uh, especially when you do this, you'll notice more of the lather will start coming out around the sides of your brush because it's, it's being generated. And so it looks like we're doing the right thing. And uh, you'll start to feel it on your face. It's, it's not dry anymore, by the way. These tips are amazing on this brush. This is a very nice feel. Okay, we've done enough scrubbing. Let's switch to painting and just see what we get. Yeah, see, look, we just kept generating more, more lather uh, in the brush. Let's just paint and get our, our layer down. A few of Dr. John's scents are a little on the weak side. Most of them, though, are very nice. If you like lavender, um, especially if you like a little darker twist on lavender, strongly uh, have heard great things about flowers in the dark. You might have to find it in the used market. I don't think it's on his website because it may have been a limited edition. Yeah, and I'm getting a good scent. I'd say four out of ten, maybe. 
uh, while I was in the mixing phase. All right. Glad it feels good on my face. Take out the stuff that's in the non-shave zone. Happy with that brush. Very nice. All right. So this is the milder of the two heads from Timeless. And uh, the 95 being the top, more aggressive, and the 6.8 uh, being the mild one. For me, they both kind of end up giving me the same shave. This is just wonderful. This is, uh, this is an old blade. Uh, I mean, it's, it depends on your frame of reference, but most people throw away their blades by now. And it's doing great. This is, I uh, just forgot how comfy this razor is. Even on this first pass, I'm gonna kind of go at a cross angle on this troll spot right here to see if I can prepare the way of us getting a good shave there today. All right, let's rinse. All right, let's put down the, we can get rid of some excess just in case. I did add a little bit of water to my lather. We'll get the sum total at the end and see how much I had to add to make it right. Ooh, this is feeling good. I'm liking the scent. The peach really helps it to not be feminine floral, uh, to me at least. Great performance as usual. Nice and slick. Razor just slid all around my face just perfectly a minute ago. Yeah, this is a little bit too thick, but it's better than it was before. That's why I love this medicine dropper. It makes it so easy to Add a whole teaspoon at a time as you're mixing your lather in your bowl or to add like five drops at a time when you're doing this, uh, adding it to your brush. Yeah, so I just, you know, it felt, I think it need there sometimes, sorry mom, I'm so fragmented um, with my sentence structure but sometimes a soap will be thinner before it gets thicker and that's I think that's what happened today once you add enough water it'll start thin and then when you have the right amount of water in it as you near that hump of perfect water amount for you then it, it'll thicken up and then if you keep on going, it gets thin again. And so when you feel it and it's thin, you don't know sometimes uh, until it gets on your face, whether you're in the, before the hump of perfect hydration or after the hump. And that's one of the biggest positives about face lathering. I'm a bowl lather. I just like that better. But a big plus with face lathering is being able to Feel the lather. You can easily feel whether it's too dry and needs more water. Much of the cutting right now, I'm not even feeling the blade edge. I mean, I do know it's there. I'm hearing it cut. But it is... very controlled. Getting some nice glide as I move across my skin. Not real, I'm just 
you know, it, uh, what I'm feeling is not this sharp edge of the blade, almost like if this was loaded with some kind of demo plastic uh, piece and it doesn't even have an edge, it just has a corner uh, or something. It just, I feel there's something moving across my face that is designed to cut hairs, but it doesn't feel sharp, you know, and that's very smooth. rinse this off. The, the floral is strong in this soap, but so is the peach. I'll have to think about it, maybe use it a few times to see if I want to bring in a full-size tub. I don't really have any other peach shaving soaps. really nice in the springtime, that sort of thing. But honestly, I could shave with this anytime. Here I am in the deep, dark winter. I'm a South Carolina native, and uh, uh, I mean, that's where I was born. And uh, I, I like peaches. I like the peach as a concept. Do you know that South Carolina produces more peaches than Georgia, the peach state? But, uh, you know, just the way it goes. So I grew up all around peaches and it's it's nice man he he brought if he would have backed off on that peach uh, the percentage of peach fragrance that he used in this in this mix then I wouldn't like it but he brought it up really even close maybe even a little higher than those florals so that's really making me I'm, I'm getting a lot of very enjoyable peachness uh, strength I'd say maybe five out of ten. That's uncommon. I like that. I'm really happy about that. It's it's very present in the shave. I am enjoying it. Uh, I mean, it's there for me to enjoy anytime I want. It's not just there in a small way, but it's also not there in an obnoxious way or in a super strong way. All right, let's uh, third pass. Man, I forgot how much I liked this 6.8. So nice. Now, I don't really, I don't often get a better shave result with a, uh, a more aggressive version of a razor. Sometimes it's a little bit better of a cut, but so often I will use a mild version of something. And it will give me the same result as the uh, more aggressive one. But it just does it with more comfort. Preliminary indications are that my neck trouble area has been shaved really well. Let's uh, rinse and check it out. That's an amazing cut. I haven't gotten a cut this close after only three passes in a very long time. And this is why I have this 6 8 around because that was just terrific. I've got what I say, 14, 15 uses on this blade. And uh, I don't see a single, in my trouble spot area here, I don't see a single hair with any length on it. It's all just the tips, all flush cut. Really, really nice. And a great, superb cut on my cheeks, but most because of the convex nature of the cheeks, most razors will get that pretty well. But holy cow. What a close one. I mean, maybe my technique was just extra on point today. Maybe the fact that even from the first pass, I was 
thinking about the types of directional strokes that give me the best success here instead of waiting until the third pass to do it. Just have to experiment more about that. But uh, wow, the result on this shave, the closeness. I can't go against the grain because of irritation. Uh, and so I have to rely on cross grain to, to get me there. And so that often puts me at a great place to evaluate the, uh, the, the closeness of razors because so many razors will do well if you can go against the grain. It's just easy, you know, but if to be a razor that cuts me well with just cross grain passes, there are some that fail that test. And so sometimes it's easier to be a tester if that's what you have to use. Wow. Well, man, the scent here. Um, this will be fun trying it out. Now I've got tons of lather left over, so I probably could have used half of that quarter teaspoon. Um, and it's a just a great lather. I, um, I did not mix it thick enough to have a creamy feel when I went to rinse after each pass. I could do that, maybe back off on the water a little bit, but it was a really nice lather, well hydrated, gave me excellent slide around on my face with the razor. Scent was nice. Let's see how much water I used. A little over one and a half teaspoons. And I'm guessing I used two thirds of that measuring spoon of, uh, of soap. And that was a quarter teaspoon measuring spoon. All right. Well, I'm really happy. This brush really likes this lather. It just slid on, around on my face really nicely. Great soft tips here. Excellent shape all the way around. As you might expect from a mild razor, I don't have any irritation. Face feels great. I have average to oily skin. Well, okay, I have oily skin. Um, average to slightly sensitive skin. And uh, it feels great. So your average type uh, skin is, you could probably walk away from this shave without any kind of post-shave treatment. Let's go down there and see what we have. I, I think, I think I like this scent. I'm gonna have to give it a few more shakes. Let's see, I'm on the verge. Of, it's possible sometimes with scents like these, if the if the floral ever comes up to me a, a little bit stronger than that, um, but the sweetness of the peach really helps to balance it out, and so that might actually make it something that's really cool that I want to keep around. Uh, but this kind of fence type uh, scent can kind of go either way, you know. If you sometimes you use it a few times and then you you pick up some note that you didn't before, and that tip it one way or the other but uh, we'll just see great performance so really happy with it uh, the Gillette silver blue did terrific in a mild razor I don't think it's now that's really interesting in the uh, Maggard V3A I tried this same exact blade uh, just uh, one use ago and it was uh, more rough um, and so and I got, this was a closer cut. See, isn't that interesting? That something called an aggressive head would not give me as close of, close of a shave as this mild head. Uh, I guess the geometry of the way the blade is curved with this head uh, just matches what I need, you know, something like that. And it was much more comfortable. Of course, like I said with the Maggard video, that head is a $7 head. And, uh, and this one is, is more than that. So you, you, it's, you need to compare apples to apples. All right, I'm gonna clean up and I'm also gonna pick out a post-shave item. It occurs to me that this soap is a prime candidate to mix in a few of the other soaps out there. Maybe take half a portion of this one and mix it with some of the tea fragrances out there. Uh, Reef Point has an Earl Grey and Ginger. Noble Otter has a Te Noir, a Vanilla. Um, Cheshire, is it, from Barrister and Man? I believe that's their tea scent. They have one. 
as well. So want to give a little bit of tea, uh, peach flavor to one of those tea scents. That might be kind of cool. Per performance uh, is definitely, to me, up to par with those premium soaps. So let me show you a little bit about this base plate and show you what I was talking about with the head, the Maggard V3 head, uh, Blackbird head. Um, so many of the uh, DE89 from Edwin Jagger or uh, Muley, um, some of the, a lot of those heads will, uh, um, a lot of the uh, twist to open type heads, they'll have a support for the blade that's um, that's kind of right here and then it stops. It doesn't go any further. But the bottom, this whole thing, the blade lays on this curve right here. And then the blade edge just extends over this edge just a little bit. So this is helping that edge. And I think that is a large part about what makes this shave so smooth. And so, which is really funny because, uh, you know, I wonder if some, somebody could make a, uh, a cheaper, this is not a design that is um, only for more expensive razors. I mean, a cheaper razor could uh, do the same design. Now, maybe if you look at that, I mean, that's kind of thin. Uh, and so maybe just a Zamac razor, I bet they can't do that. I bet it's too thin. The, the, the material, the metal, is not strong enough to hold and clamp down on that blade. Maybe that's true. And so you have to leave it to the stronger metals like stainless steel, maybe titanium or bronze or brass or something like that. So kudos to the Timeless people. They've got a great piece right here. Uh, the design, the design of this head. Excellent. I mean, comfort and closeness, just tremendous. All right, well, post shave product time. Nivea Sensitive is a balm that I've been using for quite some time. My, I don't have very much left in there. I don't really need it right now because the shave I got was terrific. Don't really need my skin to be healed from trauma. I mean, even if you can't feel it, there is some, you know, skin damage there because of the blade. But I don't feel like I need any extra special treatment. But I am trying to kill this bottle of balm so that I can kind of focus on others. And I keep feeling like I'm, I'm close to it, but we'll see. If you have really dry skin, I don't think this particular balm is... Uh, as good as some of the other ones that are out there. Um, but for me and my oily skin, pardon me, for me and my oily skin, it, uh, it certainly works well to heal up uh, problems from a shave and then my oily skin takes over from there. So, all right, and it's inexpensive and available anywhere. Walmart, CVS, you know, uh, all the drug stores and all that. Amazon even has a fair price for it if you buy three of them. All right. I think we're done. That was a nice shave. Really happy with that one. Uh, all the way around the world, uh, around the, uh, the inventory, the uh, brush, blade, razor, soap, just all terrific. Uh, and as we saw, I got a great lather even in my hard water. So very nice. Uh, this is Sugar Daddy Shaves. I hope there was something here for you that helped you out with this razor, uh, with this shave. Take care and good night.